Hello folks, got a new knife for you. Uh, so what I have here is the Grant and Gavin Hawk Beetle. This is the Midtech production model that just recently became available. Um, <clears throat> I got to check out some of uh, Grant and Gavin Hawk's knives at a few shows and uh, it's definitely very interesting. Uh, well, I've always been curious about the, the way they make their knives, the mechanisms. And um, I think Brian has uh, one of those uh, G and G uh, Sebenzes, and I just thought it was pretty fascinating how they come up with uh, the concept to to reinvent the knife. Basically, uh, let's go over some specs. So this is um, uh, carpenter steel, right? CTS X XHP, and the uh, frame is titanium. Uh, it's got a carbon fiber onlay, and you can see this G&G uh, uh, Hawks uh, logo and uh, design on it. Uh, it's got a titanium pocket clip, which is uh, very, I mean, not very similar, sim exactly the same as the, uh, the uh, custom one. This is also titanium. It's got titanium thumb studs that are anodized blue. Um... Yeah, let's see. I got some specs over here. Overall length is about six inches, so it's a little over six inches. So it's a fairly small knife. Uh, the blade length is 2.6 inches. Uh, and again, it's it's a flipper, but it doesn't lock. It's it's kind of like a friction folder with an assist. So if you can see that, you flip the tab a little bit, and there's a silicone rubber band here that kind of like uh, you know flips it over for you acts like as a uh, an assist now I emailed uh, Gavin about this just want to find out what the deal is with the the rubber band I, I, I actually didn't know it was silicone rubber I thought it was just I don't know what it was and he he, he swears it's uh, he says it's industrial grade and it'll last a lifetime of the knife so that's pretty cool So again, it doesn't lock as you see, but if you hold on to this choil here and just squeeze it ever so lightly, it doesn't move at all. It locks it in place. So, this was a pretty neat design. Actually, the uh, I want to compare it to the custom model. If you look on G and G Hawk's website, you will see that the custom models actually the material. Now, I don't know if it's for all of them, but the material I saw on the pictures they have for the custom model, of course, the blade on the custom model is like uh, more exotic materials like Damascus. And then the frame itself is, on the particular one I saw on the website, was lightning strike carbon fiber. So everything here that's titanium was lightning strike carbon fiber. And then the titanium was actually on the onlay. So I thought that was curious because this is the mid-tech and it actually gets more titanium than the custom model. Now, I don't know if they offer with this much titanium on the custom also, but the one they had on the website, everything was reversal. Frame was not titanium, was lightning strike, and the onlay was um, titanium with, of course, some uh, anodization. So that's pretty cool. I guess that would make it a lot lighter. Now this is pretty light. I believe this is about three ounces already. But imagine if it was lightning strike here and then just a little bit of a titanium here, how much lighter it would be. I just thought it was such a unique design. I guess I want you guys to get a close up on it. Show you guys what what's inside. So let's take a look at the inside. You can see there's like some frame on the inside there where the silicone rubber, I guess, rides up against. It's very smooth. You press up on it, you can feel it. Let's see if you guys can see it. When I close the blade, you can see. You can see that there's uh, standoffs right where these things are on the inside. And that's basically the assist right there.
hell, I'm having a brain fart here. I can't close my light. Um, I believe these are on IKBS. Now, if these are on IKBS, they must be so uh, tiny, basically, if they're wheeled in there. Now, the, now, the customs are IKBS. I'm assuming these are IKBS. But, um... I just thought it was so cool. I mean, I mean, look, look how it closes. Look, I don't know how Grant and Gavin designed this, how they came up with this concept, just to take, you know, invent something so unique. Uh, I mean, to design this. I mean, these guys are just geniuses. I mean, you can see how there's the flipper tab on the inside. That design itself is unique, and how the titanium just milled out so that. It rides on the inside and acts as a uh, stop on the closed position. Just look at that. Isn't that crazy? Now, I don't know. I'm guessing because this is so small that this. Yeah, there, 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 there must be a washer in there, but I believe here. Yeah, I can kind of almost see bearings in there, so that has to be. IKBS in there, but how many bearings are in there? It's very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. That a unique design. That is a unique design. Look at that. That is just so cool. And this kind of raises up with the rubber band. You can see the silicone rubber right there. And I guess it sits on something there to lock it in place. Now, you can flip it with the tab, the flipper tab, or you can even use the thumb stud. Just kind of like push it out. It's a little awkward, I gotta admit. I mean, you can try to ride it open, but you kind of like fight against the silicone rubber and you kind of like hinder it so maybe if you just flick it out is better try it again yeah that best way to deploy it is by the flipper tab let's check out the pocket clip so look at this unique design this pocket clip now this is the same pocket clip that you would get this design on the custom model so it is full tie. Uh, it does have very good retention. Let me see if I can show you the inner workings. So you can see over there. It's kind of like a tab. See that? And it's titanium. I wonder how. I mean, I'm sure they designed it, and it is sh shorter, so I'm sure it's got strength to it. But that little tab. Where is that tab? <laughs> Where'd it go? I guess it's under there, huh? I guess it's pushing up on this thing. It's very cool. Yeah, I was going to do just a regular overview, but I figure I'll get right into it and show you guys as much as I can of the inner workings of it. I thought you guys would find that more interesting. Definitely very cool design. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just listening. I was actually listening to... Uh, the KT podcast, and they're talking about production versus custom. And as the you know, I'm listening to Chris and Steve talk. And I'm just like checking this out. The design of this display is just amazing, amazing. I mean, this is artwork. This is I don't know. It's just for someone to come up with something like this. Now, Medivade is kind of like has the same brain as Gavin Grant and Gavin Hawk. They like tinkering with stuff and how it works. Uh, if you guys follow Nick, he's made this stub flipper 
Now, when I first saw it on the pictures, and maybe some people think that too, like, eh, what's the big deal? But when I held it in my hand, I mean, this flipper's about like that big. It just snaps so amazing, the stub. I was just so impressed with it. Um, I'm not just saying that because he's my buddy, but the, the kid's a genius. Just like Grant and Gavin are geniuses. I mean, who comes up with this? Who, who wakes up and says, you know what? I'm going to mill this out, and I'm going to mill this out, and I'm going to make it so that when they hold it close here, it, it won't fold on them. But if they let it go, it closes just like a friction folder. Genius. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's just very cool. Um, I think it's just very cool. What else did I cover everything? I think that's about it. So, I would imagine, I mean, Gavin says that this will last the lifetime of, of the blade. But if, I guess if it ever breaks, they can replace it. I would be very intimidated to take this apart though, just to see. <laughs> can you imagine taking this apart? Make sure you put it the way it comes back together properly. Perfectly centered. Very nice. Very nice. Alright guys. That's a G&G &G Hawk Beetle piece.